Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, good one here. Oh, oh, Jesus. Whew. Talk about a line burner. Oh, my God. Just smash that. Just smashed it. Oh, my God. Far out. Off the top. On the fly. Oh, my God. It does not get much better than that. Oh, far out. Just nailed it. Oh, far out. Oh. I've got finger burn. Need to get him out to the middle here. It's a good fish, whatever it is. Oh, oh my God. Oh, man. That was insane. Oh, far out. Unbelievable. Saw those fish just busting up. Talk about right place, right time. Does not get any better than that. Oh my God. He just nailed that. Oh my God, it's burnt my fingers. Thumb, I've got thumb burn. Oh, man, that was mental. Absolutely mental. Got wrapped up around the, got wrapped up around the bloody uh, um, trolling rod holder, which is a bit of a, bit of a drama there. Let's just pop this up a little bit so you can see what's going on here. Man, what a hit. I hope we got that on camera because that was very, very cool. Very, very cool. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Man, this is such a good fish. Keep him out here in the middle. Good fish, eh? Really good fish. I'm in open water here, so kind of hoping he doesn't go too far. Just gonna keep the pressure on him. Try and wear him out a bit. Unreal. Unreal. Man, this is a good sized fish. Really is a good sized fish. Especially on the fly. Hopefully he's got a hook well and truly buried. We don't lose him. Oh. Man. How guys do this on reef, I have no idea. On this coral reef at play, I mean, man, this fish goes so hard. Oh. Oh. Getting him up now. Oh. Oh, this is a really good sized fish. This is a really, really good sized fish. Man, this fish does not want to give up. I've been chasing a GT on fly for a good couple of years, and I kind of felt that these prawn flies were going to be the were going to be the go. There is no way you'd want to be doing this on light gear, on the light fly. You just wouldn't want to do it. Oh. Come on, mate. Nearly got him now. Come on. Oh. Having to turn around, he's still staying super low. Oh. Come on, mate. Come on. Nearly got him now. Come on, buddy. Man, GTs on fly. 
insane absolutely insane he doesn't want to come up eh? trying to put a bit more hurt on him now try and get him up a bit here we go he's coming down come on buddy come on champ oh let me get the back of the boat here this is a ripper gt absolute ripper Yes! Oh my god! Yes! What a fish! Oh. oh, this is just absolutely insane. What a ripper on fly. Oh my god, it does not get any better than that. That is just absolutely all time. Talk about happy. That is just. Oh man. What? Talk about timing as well. Oh, that is just mental. What an absolute belter on the fly. Look at that. He just nailed that top water prawn fly. I knew that fly was going to work a charm. Hooked on flies, tied me that one. That's just an absolute ripper. Have a look at it in his gob. What a fish. <laughs> Isn't that just absolutely insane oh man oh it's gonna take me ages to get over that that's just phenomenal what a phenomenal fish on the fly got to be so happy with that and he just got it right in the corner of the lip there came up and smashed it lucky i had the nine weight out today because man he would have given me some curry on something else that is insane what a fish Wow, shaking after that. That was insane. Bloody, I don't even know what to say. That's just off chops. That is just so good. That was so powerful, that fish. That top water strike was just awesome. Unreal. Hey guys, well, I thought I'd give you a bit of a close up look at this fly that I'm using. Um, this is the fly that just nailed that Kraken GT. Um, this is a disco shrimp pattern fly. It's on a larger style hook. Um, and it's got two small stingers at the back end. Um, I saw these um, a couple of years ago and I've been fishing the smaller format ones for brim and they work really, really well. And um, I got in contact with David down at Hooked on Flies and um, I just asked him if he could tie me up some of the, the disco shrimps that he was doing with these little stingers um, in a larger sort of pattern. Because last year fishing for GTs, the top water action was just manic and this type of fly would be absolute dynamite. Well, I thought this type of fly would be dynamite for GTs off the top and you know, this morning, it's just proved it's worth this fly just got absolutely smashed and to be quite honest it's actually held up really well um, the as you can see here stingers are still intact on on the one that I just used and um, the single yep yeah, hasn't hasn't budged at all super solid super strong and the fly looks like it's in pretty decent Nick so you could definitely use that again um, so yeah, that's that's the fly I'm using anyway. Um, for you guys that like a bit of um, fly fishing off the top, um, this has just done done the damage this morning. And that what a cracking fish that was! I was so stoked with that fish. That's a really solid, you know, high 60s GT, and especially for the Gold Coast and the lakes. Um, that's probably one of my bigger GTs I think I've caught in here. Definitely my biggest GT on fly. So absolutely over the moon with that. Anyhow, guys, get yourself some of these bad boys if you're in a top water fly. And um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy this vid. Give us a like and subscribe at the end of this uh, if you can as well, just to support the channel. Really appreciate it. Cheers guys, see you in the next one.